Hi. I had a bit of a disappointment this weekend. I was meant to be currently driving to Vegan Life Live at Alexander Palace for what is one of my biggest events that I do all year. But unfortunately, in these turbulent times, it was cancelled yesterday afternoon. I was really upset about this because I love getting out and meeting new people and chatting to people about what I do and giving people uh, top tips to help them stay healthy and well. So the good news is I can't be at Vegan Life Live but I'm going to come to you in your own home through this amazing medium that we have. So I'm going to talk to you today about a few of the things that I feel are really important from my research to keep us healthy and well at this time of change. Now, the most important thing when it comes to health and well-being and supporting our immune system is not being in stress. It's been shown that stress has the biggest impact on our health out of anything that we could do. So reducing stress is so, so important. And when we're in fear, when we're in this state of, <gasps> that's stress. So down below, you will see a link for a new meditation that I have done with my brother-in-law, Tom Bryant, who's an amazing musician, and my husband, Giles Bryant. It's a grounding and calming meditation. So I hope you enjoy watching that. And I hope that helps to bring you out of stress and bring you more into the moment to ground you and center you because this is so key. If we can be present with the moment, if we can be present in the earth, if we can connect to the earth, we'll be fine. We really will. So the next thing that's so important is getting out and moving our body. Our lymphatic system is a really important part of our immune system and our lymphatic system doesn't have its own circulatory system. So we have to move for our lymphatic system to be moving. So getting out, walking, you get fresh air, you get sunlight, so important to health and well-being, exercise and keeping your body going, really, really key to staying healthy. And the weather's brightening up now, so it's a great time to get out and go for a walk. Also, nature is waking up, so there's loads and loads of foods, medicinal foods, which we're gonna talk about shortly, coming up that you can utilize for your health and well-being. So get out, get vitamin D, get fresh air, get oxygen. Through our breath, we eliminate 70% of the toxins in our body. So by breathing fresh air, by breathing deeply, we can really keep everything moving in our system. So this is a really important part of staying healthy as well. So as I said, I've done a lot of research into what things are useful to keep us a really in optimum health. And one of the things that is key is vitamin D. Now, obviously vitamin D comes from the sunlight, but we haven't had much sunlight, have we? Uh, because we've been in the winter here in England. So now that the sun is starting to come out more, getting out and getting sun on your skin is really, really important. So the next important thing when we're looking at health and well-being and staying in optimum health is vitamin C. Now I've got this vitamin C mix that I make which is made from all the top sources of vitamin C. So we've got camu camu, amla, rosehip, acerola cherry and lemon peel. And because it's whole plant vitamin C it's much more easily absorbed in the body. There have been many studies showing vitamin C's antiviral um, nature and showing how effective it is with things like the influenza virus. There's a lot of research now coming out of China about the the treatment of viruses with vitamin C which is great. On my website is a blog post called Staying Healthy and in there there are links to the scientific studies or some of the scientific studies showing this information that's out there. So getting vitamin C in your diet every day. I put this into our smoothie every day so we're all getting that on a regular basis and this is so important to keep your body in optimum health. One of the things when it comes to vitamin C that's important to be aware of is that when we're stressed we use up more vitamin C. So the more stressed you are the more vitamin C your body needs to uptake and we don't hold stores of vitamin C in our body so we need to make sure we're taking it on a regular basis. Also eating vitamin C rich foods, really important thing to do. So getting that fresh food into your diet. Uh, Dr Chris Smith who is a leading virologist said you know one of the most important things to do to keep healthy and well is to stay calm 
and to eat plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables. So because part of this is the antioxidants, it's the vitamin C quanti quality that you're getting into your diet. So we've got uh, staying calm and grounded, we've got getting out in nature, moving your body, we've got getting vitamin D, sunlight on your skin, having vitamin C, these are all key things. And then it's looking at maximising your nutrients. One of the things that you find is the more you can get rid of toxins from your body, the more you can detoxify your system, the better your body's going to work, the better your immune system's going to work. So I like having activated charcoal in my water on a regular basis to help remove toxins from my system. The other thing I like to have is uh, iodine in my water. Used to be in the olden days the doctor would always have iodine in uh, his medicine kit to, to use for so many different things because of its highly antiviral and antibacterial nature. Um, so that's one of the things I like to do. Other thing that's really key is uh, looking after your gut. 70 to 80 percent of the immune system resides, guess where? Yeah in our gut. So having a healthy gut is really, really important. Getting good probiotics into your, into your diet. Having foods that kill off bad bacteria so that they're not overrunning your system. Having stuff that helps to get rid of parasites. Uh, in a later uh, clip, I'm going to be showing you how to make this amazing thing. This is fire cider and this is really good at keeping your gut and your immune system supported. It's also in my superfoods and how to use them book. But having good gut health is really key. One of the things I really like is uh, this allicin spray. Um, allicin is one of the uh, components from garlic and garlic is antiviral, it's antibacterial, it's got so many amazing properties. So having raw garlic, uh, one of the things with raw garlic is chop it up and leave it for 10 minutes because when you leave it to uh, be exposed to the air, the allicin, which is this active component, activates so you get more medicine into your system. Even if you cook with it, the allicin's already been activated. So this is a really great thing to do. Garlic is such an important thing to help keep the gut healthy as well, as well as those fresh herbs like basil and thyme and rosemary and sage. All of those things are really great antibacterial things that keep the bad bacteria at bay and allow you to have a healthier gut. So looking after your gut, making sure you're not eating loads of food that you're intolerant to, really important. With the gut, there's kind of three stages and on my website are some video links where I go into this a lot more. I also have an online course which goes into how to heal the gut specifically. But there are really three steps. It's um, removing the bad guys from your gut, repairing your gut lining and restoring the gut biome, all the good bacteria into your gut. So those are a few of the steps that we need to look at to really have an optimum healthy gut. And as I said, removing food allergies and things like that from your diet is really key and reducing refined sugars and refined foods because they have a huge impact on gut health. So the next thing, as I was saying, is we've got to maximize our nutrients in our body. We want to be getting all the good foods in because the more good foods we can have, the more fresh fruit and vegetables, the more cross-section of phytonutrients that we're going to be consuming. And this is really what we need to stay healthy. And it's not rocket science, is it? We're designed to eat these foods to keep everything optimized. We need nutrients to make our body run properly. So if we're deficient in nutrients, things aren't going to run to the extent they should. One of the things I love, which I've got in my drink here, is my CBD uh, chocolate drink. Now, raw cacao has been shown to be very, very rich in magnesium, and magnesium is really important for a healthy body. What's amazing about cacao as well is that cacao has been shown to be very, very high in antioxidants. So again, a really good way to support the immune system by having raw chocolate. We don't want it with all the dairy and the sugar, that's not going to be healthy, but I love having my uh, CBD chocolate drink. That's a really nice way to get the cacao in. Also, I like making smoothies. I'm going to be making a smoothie in another uh, clip for you to show you how you can maximize nutrients. Um, but when we get out in nature, as I mentioned earlier, we can find so many exciting nutrients and coming up now we've got loads of nettles. Nettles are a 
powerhouse for our body of goodness. Now obviously you don't want to just pick them and eat them because you'll sting your mouth but you can put them in smoothies, you can make soup with them, you can dry them and have them in tea, you can juice them. So there's loads of ways that you can get the amazing goodness of things like nettles or dandelions are coming up now as well. Um, and I really feel plants have a, a much deeper effect on our body than just the nutrients you know plants have an energetic profile to them and they affect us energetically vibrationally so when we start to connect and work with plants we can work with them in this much deeper vibrational way to help heal our body on on many different levels which is just such an incredible thing and you know you can start by just tuning into a plant you know you can get cacao and you can hold cacao and you can tune into that or you can get some rosemary and ask your body, how is this gonna help you? How is this good for you? And allow that inner body wisdom to come through because our bodies, our minds, our beings are so intelligent and incredible. And we've been programmed to tune out of that inner wisdom. We've been programmed to disconnect from the power that is within us. And one of the things that I really love teaching people to do on my mentorship or to ones is getting back in touch with that inner wisdom, that deeper part of ourselves that know what we need. And that's so key, it really is. So looking again at foods that we can be getting into, uh, I love these, the medicinal mushrooms. Now medicinal mushrooms have been again shown to be a powerhouse of goodness for our body, immune support for our system. This is reishi mushroom. Reishi has been long revered by the Chinese for its incredible longevity properties. Um, and uh, the medicinal mushrooms like reishi and chaga have been shown to be high in beta glucans, which have great uh, immune regulating properties. So I recommend people take medicinal mushrooms. I've got a great medicinal mushroom mix, um, which I like to add into my smoothies on a regular basis. My medicinal mushrooms are also in all my uh, CBD chocolate and turmeric products. So great thing to have it in your life. Um, one of the things I like doing is making teas. You can make really simple teas. I've got this great immunity uh, here, which doo -doo -doo, has loads of amazing herbs in it. We've got reishi mushroom in here. We've got elderberries. Now elderberries, again, lots and lots of studies out there. Um, check my website for links for this um, to show its high antiviral properties. Um, so elderberries I'd recommend everyone having. You can have them in tea, you can make syrups with them. Tea is so easy because you just put them into hot water and you can then get the medicine from there. We've also got astragalus in here which is a Chinese herb which supports the immune system. We've got something called marshmallow root, very good for coughs and the respiratory tract. Star anise. Uh, back in the days of uh, a bird flu, uh, tammy flu was created and it was based on star anise. So I think let's get these foods into our diet on a regular basis as a preventative so that we don't have to get these horrible bugs, so that we can keep our bodies in that optimum space. And they taste great. So it's a win-win combination really, isn't it? Um, another thing that I really enjoy is a colloidal silver. Colloidal silver for me I think is a great thing to have for its antiviral antibacterial properties to keep us healthy and well. So I've been having a few squirts of uh, colloidal silver uh, every day in my mouth to keep this whole mouth and throat area clear of potential bugs and germs. Essential oils, great thing to start using. We can, I diffuse them in my house so that I've got that lovely um, clean air. I'm breathing in nice smells, but also it's clearing the air again of these bugs and pathogens that are flying around. So some of the good ones to do that, um, for my favorite oils are the doTERRA ones. I love rosemary, thyme, uh, eucalyptus. All of these have this cleaning property to them. doTERRA do a great one called On Guard as well, which is a combination of clove, cinnamon, orange, um, eucalyptus, really, really nice one. They also do a great one for respiratory things called air, which has got uh, peppermint, um, eucalyptus, a tea tree, lemon, a cardamom, um, and camphor. Uh, so that's a really good one to use because it's designed specifically for the respiratory tract and opening up our airways and clearing out congestion and things like that so that we can really breathe deeply. 
So those are a few tips to help you to stay healthy. Um, I could talk all day about different ways that we can stay healthy, but for me, the most important thing is reducing that stress eating well and staying as happy as we can you know joy and uh, and happiness can uplift the soul and the more we're in that uplifted positive state the less likely these things are going to take hold so it's good to be prepared it's good to know what to do it's good to have toolkits at hand um, but not to give in to fear and worry about it. So be prepared, but stay centered and grounded. Um, if you wanted me to come into your home and show you how to make any of these things, then I can, I come into your homes. If you wanna really get more in depth with this, I do mentorship programs where we really go in depth on tuning into that inner wisdom. But those are a few little tips to help you and support you. I'm doing a workshop uh, here in Clare on the 28th of March where we're going to be making loads of amazing immune boosting home remedies. So again, all on my website, julietbryant.com. So do check those things out. And I hope you found this video informative and useful. Take care and stay calm. Juliet.